Hi, it's Tom Kuhn here with eight tips to help you successfully navigate and weather this financial storm. Uh, and this is directed at the, uh, all the small businesses out there that really need some guidance right now. And uh, what we have up here is something called a nine grid. This is a visual thinking tool that we have at Cunity. So this will be the basis for how I walk you through this. Now keep in mind that there's a lot of information being circulated almost by the minute. And um, what I wanna do is, is some of these recommendations or tips are very actionable and very timely and other ones uh, are a little bit more step back and look at the big picture, uh, especially as you most likely go into a period of hibernation, if you will, from your business. Uh, but hibernation doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna put your business on pause. Um, what you do over the upcoming weeks and months is going to determine the long-term long sustainability for you and your business and your team. So first of all, let's start with preserve cash. So take the initiative to reach out to your stakeholders, including contacting your bank, your landlord, your vendors. Uh, ideas include requesting interest-only payments, extended repayment plans, hardship deferments, possibly paying minimum on credit card balances. You know, so some of this really depends on your situation. Uh, the second one is access, access cash. Uh, request an increase in your line of credit or credit card limit. Uh, call your insurance company and see if you have business interruption insurance or any other coverage for relief. Uh, speaking of relief, uh, seek relief. I've already published some videos on what's coming out from the uh, SBA, the Small Business Administration, on disaster relief programs. Uh, check out those videos. Uh, there's some updated information that's even come since I published those videos. Uh, the next one is cut fat, not muscle. What I mean by that is don't put yourself in a position where you make irreversible changes that will affect the lifeblood of your organization. Uh, find out what matters to your team and your customers and eliminate costs that aren't important. Uh, the next one is act, don't react. Uh, yes, prompt action is vitally important. Uh, you definitely need to act. But step back and look at the big picture before you make decisions. Uh, seek advice from experts. Uh, the next one we have is project cash daily. This is a really, really big one. And in working with distressed companies and working with turnaround specialists, uh, been through economic downturns before, uh, this is really a vital and highly actionable activity, uh, is to do something we refer to at, at CUNITY as push the pulse. The pulse really needs to pick up. You know, if you're a small business, uh, many small businesses really struggle with cash flow management. And the way to get a handle on it is to do daily cash flow projections, which really is a very simple way to each morning, uh, uh, either you or remember your team, um, you know, go through and see, uh, you know, what hit the bank, uh, what's expected to hit the bank, and more importantly, look out into the future. Now, this is really important because many of the stakeholders in your business are going to be looking for predictability in an unpredictable environment. And to really start a practice of daily cash flow management is vital. Um, now, the next one, and this is in a different color because this is sort of a, a surprise or different idea. Uh, let's just say that you happen to have very high cash reserves and you're in a very strong financial position. Um, you may be able to actually do some prepayments on bills, do the opposite of these recommendations, which is preserve cash. And you might be able to have an extremely high return on investment because your vendors and other people in your, uh, that are part of your ecosystem uh, are going to be very stretched. So actually paying ahead, you might be able to earn some very, very deep discounts. Now, those are for those of you, that's for those of you that are in a very strong cash position. And then finally, and this one is in red because this is really probably the most important thing um, on my mind. And that is really about your financial management practices. And it's about leveling up your understanding and putting practices in place to strengthen your financial management. Most small businesses really struggle with, you know, accounting and financial management and many just, you know, hate it. It's like the last thing they want to do. It could be complicated, it can be overwhelming and what have you. 
but this is really the time, especially when you have downtime, is to invest in better understanding and implementing financial management practices because the ones that do are the ones that are gonna be sustainable now and into the future. Now, a couple other things here that I'm gonna to add to this. So, um, reach out and reach in. Uh, reach out means uh, be outward, be communicative. Make sure you stay in touch with all of your stakeholders. Um, stay in touch with your customers, your team, your vendors. Um, your financing arms, your community, uh, but also make sure that um, uh, you reach in. Um, reach in and find another level of resilience. The entrepreneur journey is not an easy journey, uh, but if you're a small business owner, you're an entrepreneur. Um, and entrepreneurs really need to find more courage. Uh, there's a great quote from Shakespeare, cowards die many times before their death, the valiant taste of death but once. Find that level of courage to get yourself through this, and that is gonna come through reaching out and reaching in. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today. Stay tuned, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for listening in, and I hope you found this helpful.